If you were to send something to aliens, what would you send? This was the question given to us that we needed to find a solution to. We had some requirements for this process. We had to make three unique artifacts, each with an, their own encoded message and, and a different sense, like light, odor, tactile, and sound. There should be a fourth message that is derived from the first three. But here's the problem. Aliens can't understand any of our languages, so we would have to use universal constants to talk to them. Our group has created three objects, each with the meaning for the aliens to decode and then combine. Since this is theoretical, we will be sending our objects to space by SpaceX's Falcon 9 from Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The Falcon 9 consists of three parts. The first stage thrusters are used to get out of the atmosphere. Once they are out of the atmosphere, they separate from the body. The second stage thrusters turn on for six minutes, and after that, they also separate. This leaves the Crew, ja crew Dragon capsule, third and final stage, to orbit the Earth for 19 hours. We must remember that the Crew Dragon has eight escape thrusters. These escape thrusters are to make sure that it doesn't re-enter Earth's atmosphere and gets to the ISS safely. Meanwhile, the Falcon 9's first stage body lands on Earth at a landing pad in the ocean. Escape velocity is the minimum speed required to escape a celestial body, in this case, Earth. Since Earth's escape velocity is 11,19 km per second, we need to move faster than that in order to escape Earth's atmosphere. This is a diagram of how the Vulcan 9 works. The Vulcan 9 rotates in space to make sure that its thrusters face Earth on re-entry. This system slows down, and with the combination of the Falcon 9's grid fins, it lands safely back on Earth. While all of this is happening on Earth, in Earth's mesosphere, the, the Crew Dragon capsule is headed towards the ISS. In, con in conclusion, it takes about 19 hours and 5 minutes for Falcon 9 space shuttle to reach the ISS. The approximate time of liftoff is 8 a.m. GMT minus 4, and the approximate time of arrival is 3.15 a.m. The first artifact is a four string guitar. Each string is tuned to a different note so that it can play a short four note melody. Under each string is a symbol, and at the end of the guitar, these symbols are used to make a melody. This is basically sheet music, but a very, very simple version of it. Simple enough for anyone, anything with our level of intelligence would understand. This shows aliens that we understand harmony at a neurobiological level. The second object is a film box. This is a visual representation of where we are. It starts by showing the Milky Way and then zooms into Earth. We've also included a few images which we think represent humanity pretty well, which include buildings and human anatomy. These are also all linked with little symbols in the corner of each image. All the images combined should show the aliens what and where we are well. The box works on a system of three cogs and two shafts. When we, when we rotate the crank, the paper on the shafts moves, revealing different images and symbols, thus appearing like a slideshow. All of the components were 3D modeled, and it took a lot of time to get the maths right. Uh, our final design was cogs with, with curved edges. Luckily our school has a substantial 3D printing system, so we can model all of these in a 3D printing program and once they were printed, we can assemble them with ease alongside with the maths. We use 3D printing because it's better at planning our ideas and also making our objects. We think that using a 3D printer is justifiable because you can, get, you can buy what we made at a, at a printer store for a very low price. Our final object is a plaque, and on the plaque it shows the human anatomy as well as the speed of light. It also shows where our solar system is in the galaxy and the most abundant atoms in the universe. These are ball models of the most abundant atoms in the universe, which is hydrogen, helium, and oxygen. Oh, the second, the second diagram shows that the, that the speed of light is equivalent to the wavelength times the frequency of the speed of sound. This also shows aliens how advanced our scientific knowledge is in regards to light and sound. We have also sent images of humans to the aliens so they can know what to expect once they reach Earth.
we all see us, humans, walking around, just like on the picture of the plaque. The remaining diagram is of the Milky Way, which shows where we are in the solar system. It is linked to a zoomed-in image of the Milky Way galaxy. Our Earth is oh wait, um, our Earth is bolded with an arrow above it to show the aliens where we are. Uh, on the reverse side of the plaque, we have what we call the Roman numeral code. As you can see over there in the corner, one dot is equal to I, two dots is equal to I I, and three dots is equal to I I I, and so on. Even though the um, the Indians don't understand Roman numerals, we plan to teach them because they will have their own numeral system. After counting all of these symbols, the aliens would understand that I, 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 or V, is what we consider five. You, by using this method, by adding values like in the Roman numeral system, we can teach them that star is equal to five trillion, which would be translated into their own language. The aliens would understand what plus and equals all. So using this, using this uh, um, equation here, they can see that the, the value on the other side of the plus is always equal to the value on the last side of the equals. Thus they can learn, learn what plus and equals are. We will also be sending, sending the aliens a ruler labeled ruler that, was, that will be found in the plug. Um, it will give them an idea of a measurement system that they can then convert into their own in the same way that we convert inches and feet into centimeters and meters. Using the previous uh, metric system that we just taught, we can show that 500 of these is equal to 1,000 meters or 1 kilometer. Using symbols, we also, we also explain 9.4 trillion kilometers. We have also sent the aliens an image of the Milky Way and a red line from the center of it to our solar system. The red line represents R plus R plus T light years, which we know as 25,000 light years. This will show aliens how far our solar system is from the center of the Milky Way. On the plaque, we also explain a multiplication in the bottom left corner. The final message is E equals MC squared. This is shown with visual elements. E is equal to energy, therefore is being represented as a G2V type star and a black hole. The aliens will know that these are high in energy. We teach them maths by showing them two suns and a, and a picture of a human. As you can see in the, in the diagram, the human is, this human retains the same mass in both examples as it is a constant. C squared it means C is the speed of light times speed of light. We show this with two diagrams of the speed of light with the times in between them. In conclusion, our three objects are a film box that shows what happens on Earth and where we are, a plaque which on one side teaches the metric system and on the other shows fundamental human elements, and a guitar showing the aliens that we understand music at a neurobiological level. Each of these artifacts have their own unique code, but when put together, reach reveal a fourth code. The objects mean what Earth is. And the fourth and final message is E equals mc squared. E equals mc squared is a formula discovered by Albert Einstein. Energy is equal to mass times speed of light squared. This helps explain our stance by creating the message that is linked to an astronomical element within the que question that was needed to be answered. We hope you enjoyed our presentation and understand how complicated it is to be a human and how lucky we are to exist. Thank you.